Hey, it's Blake here wearing a green shirt on a green screen. How smart was that? What you're looking at is three blaster boxes of Skybox metal hockey cards, NHL cards. They are made by Upper Deck, which is like the odd man out in the trading card world. Uh, a bit different. I like them. They are the only company to have exclusive hockey rights, so they make hockey cards. Now, Skybox was actually the first retail product, first product at all that I bought. Uh, I bought a box or a pack, I guess, of 97, 90, 96, 97 Skybox NHL cards, uh, and I still have a few of those. So this is kind of like nostalgic for me. As a hobby, I love to sell sports cards, and the whole point of this video is to show you how I'm gonna double my money on these NHL cards, opening them. Now, selling sealed boxes right now, so these metal are they Metal Universe? It is Metal Universe cards, not just Metal. Metal Universe NHL cards are going for about 30 bucks at Target. And they sell for about 40 on eBay. A bit more, a bit less sometimes. The market is volatile. The thing about hockey fans, though, if you're one, you know they are dedicated. No fair weather hockey fans. So when they have a player they like, or a series or a team they like, they'll buy those cards. So what I do with cards like this is I sell every single card card. How do I do that? I use eBay standard envelope shipping. I pay 53 cents to ship them out. I make about two bucks per card. In these packs, there is 35 cards, seven packs with five cards a piece. Am I right on that? Let's look. Seven cards. Yes, I'm right on that. So we should be able to get probably double our money, right? 60 bucks. If we sell every single card for 295, which is what I usually do, which we're not going to sell every single card, but we're going to sell uh, a few of the inserts for like five or six bucks, maybe 10 bucks. And a lot of the players like Cindy Crosby or uh, let's see, Mark andre Fleury or uh, Chara or, I mean, the rookies like Kaprizov and Lafreniere. If we get those guys, that's going to boost our average sale price up. But even like just like the base cards uh, of guys that you like. So I, did I say Chara? Chara is not like a big star, but I sell Chara cards all the time. Those dudes up in Edmonton, Dreitzel, and I forget his name. Uh, I sell those base cards all the time because hockey fans love them. So what we're going to do is we're going to open these up. We're going to go through them. They're very cool cards. I wouldn't do this with like basic, you know, scorecards, like uh, NFL scorecards. I love scorecards. No shade here, but just like these cards right here, they look very cool when you pull them out. So we're going to go through these do a, uh, a quick version of an unboxing, and then I'll talk about how I'll sell these, what I'm going to expect to make, and how you can make this hobby a full-time job for someone else, but still like a full-time job. Now, with the utmost care, we open the box of cards using an X-Acto knife. I'm trying to make sure I don't damage them with my giant ogre hands. So we've got Skybox Metal, tons of cool inserts. I love the packaging here. Uh, seven cards per pack five packs in the box nothing being hidden in there not sure why i checked so as far as inserts go we've got blue parallels sapphire parallels 96 97 throwbacks there are some autos those are going to be chase cards uh the cards i think we'll most likely get are blue parallels rookies all stars and maybe a, a basic you know one in 16 one in 20 card uh, if we got an auto, that'd be awesome, but oftentimes those have been stuck in the hobby boxes, so here we go. Ripping our first pack, we have some penny sleeves in case any good ones come out of here. Oh man, I love these. It's so nostalgic for me, so... Ooh, hey, a rookie right on the back. Ka-Andre Miller, Ka-Andre Miller, I don't know, he's at the Rangers. Uh, he's a big guy, he's like 6'5", I think. Some base cards... Uh, that's a, another Rangers card right there. Ooh, whoa! Blue parallel Alex Ovechkin. Ovi, and then, oh my god! Jonathan Taves hardware! So that, that's a 1 in 36, I think, insert. Uh, and the blue parallels are kind of standard, but he, he's a great player. He's, you know, a, a Hall of Famer. Both those guys probably are. So right there, we're already breaking even. What are the odds of that? What are the odds of us breaking even with our first two cards, the first pack we're already uh in the profit isn't seek up there top left what i'm doing is i'm not taking into account fees just yet at the end of the video we'll go over fees but in that first pack we're already above in terms of revenue what this box cost us second pack baby now if i was uh, a less scrupulous man i'd just sell these packs because those were some great pulls out of that first pack 
TJ Oshie on the back. We got some more base cards. No Red Wings. You know, I, I'm I'm here in Michigan. I like getting Red Wings. Uh, you know, obviously it's just fun to look at these cards. We got a blue Timothy Lilgren and a Nick Robertson's prospects. Both those cards are uh, kind of not the best. We'll get a few bucks for them, but we're up to 50 bucks in gross revenue so far. Hey, while we're here, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and comment below what your favorite hockey cards are. I think, you know, for the money, these metal cards look so sick. I want to stress these are just my best estimates. Over the years, I've sold thousands of cards and I think I'm pretty good at this, but still, these are just estimates and it might take years to actually see these numbers. So although, you know, I am making money and it is a hobby for me, so I'm not so worried about this, uh, they're not going to be like instant in your bank account money amount. Uh, Martin Kaut here, Zach Varinsky, two kind of middling cards. I think we can get about seven bucks for the both of those. The trick to making money at this, well the first trick, there's a few tricks, is to be patient. So behind that card we've got a nice rookie, Suter, uh, you know, a Blackhawks player, probably get about, uh, you know, I'd say $8 for that card, $9 for that card, some more base cards, brings us up to $68 total uh you know between some of the big hitters and some of the small hitters now how i ship these while well, i got a minute here i put all the cards worth less than 995 in a penny sleeve and a cardboard mailer and any card above that gets its own top loader and if they're under 20 bucks they ship ebay standard envelope we've got a blue shea weber he's a great player but a defenseman so you know no solds yet but then this net deposits one in six insert bowen byram unfortunately not the best player in the world uh nathan mckinnon this is a 97 98 throwback card and a cal foot rookie all those cards bring us up to 81 dollars in gross revenue i love these throwback cards the 97 98 throwback cards they remind me of my childhood and they look cool too man i am loving this and i hope you are too now opening up retail blasters it's not a great way to make some money but it is a lot of fun and there are ways you can make this a full-time job now that's gonna be an expensive full-time job but if you outsource this and you list every single card there are guys uh two brothers in minneapolis or minnesota somewhere they make thousands tens of thousands of dollars selling tons of base cards another uh you know shea theodore base blue we got that alloyance max that's a pretty cool look at this alloyance now like alloy Alloyance, Alliance, Alloyance, Max Pack here, ready, Mark Stone. Again, though, these cards are not worth so much money, about nine bucks between both of them. That brings us up to $90 total, and that's all of our packs, all of the inserts. 90 bucks total. Uh, we have all the base cards here. I'd say we can get about $5 in the base cards. Uh, we're not going to sell all of them, but probably five out of those, about 20 and that brings us up to $95. 95 times 0.85 for fees is 80.75. 80.75 times 0.75, so for uh, setting up best offers, you know, maybe a few returns, maybe some don't sell, that brings us to $60.75. That is doubling our money. Hope you enjoyed the video. I am Blake, and uh, as always, thank you for watching.